Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius, with your lab secrets tip of the day. Today, I'm going to show you how to track members on your site and provide real-time customer support. We're going to utilize two tools. Now, Google Analytics is the first one, and that's the old workhorse of analytics. However, many people don't know that they've now got a new real-time beta that allows you to have real-time statistics as well as all the standard statistics. This compares favorably with the other choice, which is Woopra. Woopra is really dynamic and provides you a really wonderful visual map in addition to all the other standard analytics and navigation path tools. The one thing that Woopra gives you as well is the ability to have an actual live customer support center built into the actual product. So if I'm over here on my social go version two uh, lab secret site, I can visit the site and I see Spence is online. I can click and get real time help. Let me show you how easy it is to set up and install either one of these tools on your site. We're going to start with Google Analytics. First thing you'll need to do is to set up a Google account. Once you do, you can go ahead and find google.com slash analytics. Click on this button and you'll be taken to a page where you can get started. I've opened up the create a new account page here. Now here's where I can go ahead and type in some basic information. So let's call this new SGV2 account. Next, I want to type in the URL of the website I'm going to utilize. If I'm going to stick with the SocialGo version 2 web address, I can type that in here. Or if I want, I can use whatever domain name that I'm going to be pointing to my SocialGo site. Now next, I can say what time zone I'm in. In this case, I'm in Chicago. And then lastly, most importantly, I want to decide if I want to share any of the data that I'm collecting with Google. Now, I don't think they're going to do anything nefarious with it, but if you're a privacy person, you can click on do not share anything with them. And that will not affect whether or not you can see the analytics data. Lastly, I have to agree to the terms and service, and I click on create an account. Once I do, it'll take me to a page where I can go ahead and make a couple last choices before implementing it on my site. Now, you'll notice that I have a unique web property ID here. Next, I want to tell Google whether or not this is a single domain. In this case, it will be a single domain, so I'm going to leave the option over here as single. Lastly, and the most fun part, I can go ahead and grab this code, right-click and copy. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it into place on my social go site. And if I have not logged in before, I'll click on login. Once I'm logged in, I'm going to click on website management, and I'm going to click on open admin. Here, I want to go now to Setup, and then I want to carefully scroll my mouse across to Advanced Settings. Now, we're going to place this code into the global footer code. And I'm going to take the code that I just copied, and I'm going to paste it into place. And I want to make sure that it's a script type at the beginning and that the tag at the bottom is also there. Lastly, I want to scroll down and click on Save Changes. Once I've done that, it will inform me that the changes have been saved. Now, let's go over to Google Analytics and see what it looks like. Click on Real Beta Overview. And there you go. We've got one visitor on the site. And yes, the visitor's coming from Chicago, because that's where our offices are located. Now, there's some options in the real-time beta that are very helpful, including filtering by location, or the traffic source, or the type of content they're viewing on your site. Either way, it doesn't limit you in any way from using the traditional Google Analytics tools, of which there's a ton. So if you haven't used them before, or you're just curious, feel free to click here on the Help Center. Now, let's show you the second option, which is Woopra. Woopra is one of my favorites, because it's got an amazing, beautiful dashboard. This is the real-time dashboard showing the real-world map. This means whenever anybody comes to your site, they'll show up as a pin. Red if they're new visitors, blue if they're not new. When you click on that, it'll show you their history right there, as well as the type of uh, browser they're using, where they're located, their IP address, all kinds of good data. Of course, it also lets you see the individual visitors, and it has a traditional dashboard, which you can configure for your taste. The best part, though, about Woopra is it provides a real-time chat product that you can use to actually help your customer service. As I showed you over here, it'll appear such as this on your site. If you go with their free version, this has a little bit of branding of Woopra, which is really not obtrusive. When somebody wants to communicate, they click on your name, say, hey, Spence. I need help. And then you hear a ka -ching. When you do, you on your side will see something that looks like what we we're just talking about. Now we've got a pop up that shows up that says, hey, somebody needs help. I can ignore it or I can accept it. If I accept it, I'm now interacting with my customer. Hi there. What can I do to help? And it also works with smileys. Now, this is a great way to get going because this whole history is going to be stored with your Whooper account. And you can also tag the visitor. So if I know that this is Mr. Smith, 
or I put in an account number. For all future interactions, I'll have everything I've ever communicated with them right in one spot. Super handy. Now, Woopra also is free for up to a certain number of page views of 30,000 per month currently. It's super easy to get started by going to Woopra.com, clicking on Get Started. There, it'll enable you to go ahead and choose a username. And in this case, I might choose SGV2, type in my email, put in a password, and then again, agree to the terms of service, sign up now. It'll send you a quick confirmation email and make sure that you're actually the person signing up. Once you do, you'll be given a page like this that lets you manage whatever number of websites you have. So in this case, I can click on the settings and I can show you where we set it up. So you wanna go ahead and grab this code just like we did for Google, copy it. We're gonna go back over to our admin dashboard on the SGV2 side. Remember under setup, advanced settings, now let's go ahead and put it into the global footer code. What I can do is put the cursor right before the Google Analytics or after, it doesn't matter, add a little bit of space by typing enter, and then I'm gonna paste in the code, click on save changes, and that's it, that's all we need to do. If you wanna use the real-time chat, there's an option. The way that that option is gonna work is by going over here to Woopra, and we're gonna choose chat settings. In the chat settings, we have to put in who is the person that we want to appear, and what if any title, and that's the thing that you're going to see down here where it says who's online, Spencer Foreman, and nickname is Evil Genius. I can also choose a chat color if I want something other than white. Lastly, I can upload a new avatar, and in this case I uploaded a 300 by 300 uh, JPEG that has the lab logo. I click Apply Changes. Now in order to get chat working on the site, we just need to go ahead and turn it on. All we need to go is to Widgets. So if you're interested in showing the chat, you enable this. If for any reason you want to stop showing the chat widget, you just disable it. Again, if you go with one of their premium options, you can go ahead and have customization of what that chat widget shows. Click on Update Widgets, and that will enable it so it shows at the bottom of our site just like this. So depending on your taste, I would encourage you to try one or the other and then pick the one that suits your needs best. Don't worry, even if you decide to change later, it's not going to cause you any difficulty. This is Spence, the evil genius from LabSecrets.com.